Warning, this video contains graphic images of rodent control. Some people see rodents as cute little pets, but sadly often they carry disease, they cause lots of damage, and you need to understand how to control these pests. This type of video is exactly what the YouTube demonetization bot has lots of trouble with. Let's see how it goes. We've just had uh, the cats up here mucking out of something. I've actually got the Splatoon Blaster. My wife said she thought it was a rat. Okay, and rats are pests as far as I'm concerned. I'm not sure whether the Splatoon Blaster is going to do much here. Okay, oh, there it is there. Okay, um, wow, it actually looks like it's still alive. It might be injured because apparently Bluebell had hold of it. I'll just put that down, it's not going to help me here. It looks like uh, by the way it's breathing there it's quite scared. Apparently Bluebell had hold of it and it scampered away. Uh, my wife's very scared of these rats, so I don't know whether it's a native marsupial one. I'm hoping my audience can identify this thing. We've actually got rat baits out, so who knows it may be affected by the baits as well. It's trying to hide there. I don't know what condition this thing is in and as far as I'm concerned these little critters oh well they can cause a ton of damage okay look it's one of these things people are going to argue it both ways aren't they hey oh, it's sort of cute it's got a cute little face let's just see if we can oh look at that it's holding on to the the pole there yeah I don't think it's in that good of health because it would normally scamper away really really fast Hmm, I'm gonna do with this thing. It looks like it's very, very scared, hey? Oh, I've got Fluffy right next to me too, which isn't a good sign. My son's come up to see Mrs. I want to call this thing Mrs. Rodent. Yeah. It's sort of cute, isn't it? Yeah, Dad, can we keep her as a pet? Oh, no way. Mummy would freak out big time. Please! No, I'm sorry, we can't keep it as a pet. It's a pest. Well, Mrs. Inquisitive has turned up in a natural way. And, uh, well, there you go. That's one of the greatest enemies of those sort of critters is cats. And, uh, well, mind you, I don't think I've ever seen Fluffy with a rodent. What's your thoughts there, Fluff? Friend or foe? Well, Fluffy scampered away. She's more interested in chasing birds. Mind you, she is looking at Mr. or Mrs. Rat. My son's up here looking at this. I really think it's, uh... It's dreadfully unwell, okay? Yeah, Bluebell had hold of it, and it was my wife reported to me, oh, Bluebell's got a, a rat. Okay, so, I, you know, we've got baits out, so who knows, it may have taken a bait. Well, it's actually biting this, wow. It's actually biting this uh, metal bean. I know they've got a pretty mean bite, that's why I'm not putting my hand near it. Okay, so, uh, yeah, cute, but I certainly don't want it round the house, okay? These things cause a stack of damage. In fact, the way that I see it, it's very unsteady on its feet. I think it has taken some of the rat bait that we've got out, because this is the time of year, we're in spring, uh, that you're trying to haul these little fellas up. And, uh, you know, that's the thing. I think maybe Bluebell took advantage of the fact this one's very, very ill. And to try and show you the cat that had that rat, uh, Bluebell is just here somewhere underneath that compost bin because there's no use talking about a cat unless you actually see it. Okay, that is Bluebell down there, probably just skulking around waiting until I go away from the rat. Let's see if I can uh, get this thing to take a bite of this. You can see its little mouth operating because they've got a very, very mean little bite on them. That's its mouth. Okay, no, I think it's. Uh, I think it's very worse for weather this one, very worse for weather. I'm just trying to think of the most humane thing to do here and it's this whole argument about well how do you deal with these things in a in a nice way. I've actually got a large pot here, hopefully no redback spiders on it. And I'm just going to knock Mrs. Rodent into here nice and gently of course. Come on in you go, in you go. Oh, it's got a bit of a hold there. And if I upright it like that, I think Mrs. Rodent is going to live out her last hours in there in a very humane way I hope and just so Bluebell doesn't come and take the bait here I'll just put a lid over this and I'll return this uh, later on and deal with it 
that there's the rat baits we've had out and I can see actually that some of these have been nibbled at. Hmm, wonder who's been nibbling at those. There is quite an extensive market of items to control rodents and things, all different sorts of things. I was going to do videos about these, but because of the way YouTube has changed, that'll never happen. There are humane traps like this. Very curious indeed. There are electronic ones like this. Read that. Kills 100 plus mice dead in seconds. I think the big rodent I had would have trouble getting into the hole of this one here. It was actually quite a large critter that, well, I should I say the bluebell had captured because it wasn't me that captured it. Uh, there are secure traps like this where it gets concealed so you don't get a scare from looking at rodents. There are old fashioned ones like this. These ones like this, the snappy ones I found are the best for house mice problems and little tiny house mice are often the most difficult to get rid of. There are traps like this where the rodent puts its head up here and then a very snappy system in there puts this around its neck. But what I've found, the most effective way to lure and capture rodents is a bucket full of water with a bit of a ramp set on it and it doesn't take very long at all for them to fall into the water and they drown. I know, I know, we can't have unsolved mysteries, can we? The rat that I put in there, it's now, well, the end of the day as the sun starts to cast a big shadow. I saw the cat sniffing around here during the day and we will just see if Mr. or Mrs. Raticus is dead or alive. And this is really going to test the YouTube monetization system. Are we seeing anything that shocking yet? Well, what I can see... I believe it's a rat that has passed away. Okay, I'm actually a little bit curious as to what sex this is. I'm hoping it's passed away. If the thing jumps up and comes alive, I'll be running for my life. Let me just pull it out here. Yes, let's just see. I'm not really an expert at this, but my audience are. I know I've got audiences who understand this part of the anatomy far better than me. I think we're looking at a male there. I hope I'm correct there. I'd hate to be wrong. Ah, uh, yes. As for its age or anything else, once again, the audience are going to tell me. I'm pretty sure it's a rat because of the tail structure. To me, that's a rat tail. Okay, if you ever look at a rat tail file, it looks like that. And to prove my point about the rat tail file, well, I've just hopped into my workshop. There's a rat tail file there. Look at that. It looks just like the rat's tail. There's the educational aspect of this video, okay? Uh, yes, yeah, sadly, a beautiful creature. It's actually not... Well, it's actually got, look at that, fleas in it. Can you see that? It's got a flea. Look at that, many fleas, actually. Maybe this is why I don't like these critters. There's red things moving there. I'm sure they're fleas. I'm hoping you can see that, hey? I don't know, I'm not a fan of these creatures, they cause a lot of damage and people say they carry diseases and stuff, they've certainly got fleas or something going on there, uh, but it's one less rat hanging about our place, and I'll now put it in the bin. Mrs Inquisitive has just turned up, I'd be very curious to see her reaction to that there. Don't get too close to that, it's covered in fleas, Fluffy, I'd hate you to be getting those, and she's sniffing inside there. What do you think, Fluff? Or is it because maybe the, it's been poisoned? Cats know it's no good. Yeah, she's going. Yeah, maybe she knows more than what we understand, hey? She's very, very clever, the old Fluff. So there was no blood, there was no gore, there was no violence. All I saw was a rat that I think was affected by poison. It's going to be a great test for the stupid robot that's got control of YouTube at the moment.